if you've ever wondered why your shifts in beliefs haven't led to external manifestations, in this episode I'm going to talk about why and how to shift it. Let's dive in. Welcome back, my online family. Welcome back to another episode of the Awaken Your Business podcast. I'm excited to talk about this one because so many people I know in this industry love personal development. They love doing the inner work. They love shifting their emotions, shifting their thoughts. And they always ask the question, if I'm shifting, if I'm changing, if I'm making these differences in my life, why sometimes do I not see the physical manifestations of it? Why am I not getting the tangible results? Why am I not seeing this outcome in my life that I want so bad? And I thought I'd put together an episode because this comes up time and time again. And I can start to see why some people may be stuck recycling the same types of results time and time and time again. And they come and tell me, they say, look, I shifted my thoughts. I'm starting to think in more abundance. I'm starting to think in a space of more positivity. Why am I not seeing the income? Why am I not seeing the the increase in reach? Why am I not seeing the income and influx of clients, right? Or whatever it may be in your life that you're after. And I think there's one thing that a lot of people might be missing and one thing that I'll discuss as this episode goes through. But one thing I'd love to highlight, one thing I'd love to Uh, gain some awareness around is your thoughts. What is it in you that you would like to shift? What is it in your life that you would like to manifest, that you'd like to manifest more of, that you might have been trying to shift or trying to create a difference, but it just hasn't come through yet. It just hasn't manifested or it hasn't had an external outcome the way you would like. And just sit with it and just get to Uh, understand and get present with it because what you'll recognize as we go through this episode is there may be some things that are are holding you back there may be some opportunities there that you're not jumping in on and there may be some uh, there may be some internal blocks that might be holding you back so I want to start gaining some awareness here around the consequences when you have a decision, when you have something that you you want to change in your life, when you have an outcome that you really want to manifest, one thing that I've known is that you can start to shift your thoughts, you can start to shift your, your beliefs around it, but that's only one level of knowledge. That's only one level of understanding, is your intellectual thought, is the beliefs about it, Right? What goes deeper than that is if you understand it emotionally and if you understand it physically. Now I will go back I will go into the next the, the bottom two, the emotions and phys- and the physical in a moment. But let's have let's play around with this. If you only start to shift your thoughts, but you don't shift your emotions or your behaviors around that emotion, what can you start to see in your life? Now, there may be some shifts by just, by just changing your thoughts, right? By changing your beliefs. There may be some shifts there. But if you're not manifesting the outcomes that you, that you want and you want to bring some more uh, higher level of abundance and tangible results that you haven't seen yet, my inkling is that you're staying at the thought level and not going down into the emotional or physical level. And what tends to happen is we start to recycle the same life, the same results, the same type of circumstances time and time and time again. Now, what breaks that cycle, right? What breaks that cycle so that we can start manifesting whatever we like when we can start to truly shift the way in which we are being? Well, let me ask you this. If you have a shift in money, your money belief, and say, you know what, I'm going to change my beliefs around money, and I'm going to truly know and understand that money is abundant, that money comes and flows to me easily, I'm going to start thinking that from now on. What happens 
when you get a bill, an unexpected bill, an unexpected bill that is outside the comfort level that you are used to receiving? Do you have an emotional response there? Is it still triggering some fear, some uncertainty, some doubt, some worry? Let me ask you, what happened to the thought? What happened to the belief? Right? If you truly want to integrate this into your own life, my guess is you want to go a level deeper than your, just your intellectual thought. You want it to start impacting your emotions so that the stimuli around you, the events and circumstances, can no longer trigger you in a way of a fear response. Right? And when, it start, when you start to feel differently, when your emotions are now impacted on your new belief, you know it's gone a, a level deeper than just your thought. It's gone into your emotional world and it's starting to impact your emotional world at a different level. Now let me ask you this. If you're feeling more, more abundant and you get this bill and all of a sudden it doesn't affect you as much and all of a sudden you feel, you know what, I can pay this and I can... I can do what's necessary because I know it's going to come and flow easily. I know it's going to come in abundance. In fact, I'm excited to pay this because I'm excited about what's possible. But what happens when all of a sudden you, you are up against a decision to invest in a personal development program for, a, for a, an amount that's outside your comfort zone? Are you willing to make that decision? Are you willing to move forward and make your decisions and actions based on the fact that money is abundant. If you're making your decisions and your actions based on the belief that you want to instill, that's how you know you've gone a level deeper. You don't only think it emotion, you don't only think it in terms of your intellectual ability and your thought, but you feel it emotionally and you also act and behave and decide based on it. And so they're the three, la- the three layers. If you want to integrate a new belief, you don't only have to understand it in, uh, in terms of your intellect, intellectually, but also emotionally, and then what we call physically, right? If, you're fi- if you physically means you're living it, These are ne- this is now how you run your decisions and actions. And I'll give you an example. So I started meditating two hours a day. That's not in everyone's expansion, but I started meditating two hours a day and I did it because I wanted to look at the side of me that was scared. I knew I was building my business from a place of fear and I wanted to look at the side of me that was fearful. So as I sat with it, I had so many transformations, so many insights. I started truly meditating two hours a day in silence and I've been doing that ever since for about 10 months and it was only about seven months ago I had a heart's calling to leave my job. Now, I was shifting so many things inside me. I was shifting everything in terms of my beliefs about myself, about what's possible, about me just being infinite possibility. And yet I would go to my job where I was only going there to work at a restaurant because of the safety of money. Now, if I was feeling infinite, if I was believing that anything is possible, then I would make my decisions based on that belief. But as I went to the job, I was going to the job from, from a place of scarcity and it wasn't aligned. So I was left with a decision. I was left with a decision to either leave the job and trust this calling and trust that I have infinite abundance because it was my heart's pull my heart's calling my heart and soul said leave the job but in order to do that i had to leave behind a bunch of beliefs that i knew weren't true so as i was going to the job there was a there was a incongruence with my thoughts my emotions and my actions so i either had to leave the job and expand or stay in the job and shrink my beliefs and shrink to my small story. And everyone that I believe is in their expansion is left with those two possibilities. Are you expanding 
or are you staying in your small story? You can't do both. You can't expand and, and stay in your small story at the same time. But I took the leap because I wanted to integrate both intellectually in terms of knowing that I'm infinite, in terms of emotionally feeling that I'm infinite and feeling excited about it, feeling possibility, right? Feeling uh, emotionally uh, energized and passion and joy around it. And then physically, I had to make my decisions around it, right? And here's why. I want you to think about what you're expanding into. I want you to think about the shifts that you want to make. I want, to think ab- I want you to think about the beliefs that you want to instill in yourself and think about what does life need to teach me in order for me to live that? What does life need to teach me in order for me to live that? Here's what I got. In order for me to leave my job and do this full time, coach, grow an online community, grow this podcast, run my programs, help individuals, I had to understand, feel, and do things that were different around money and finances. And so life needed to teach me that you need to leap And you need to trust that you will be fine, even if you go broke. What I find that life is trying to teach you and trying to teach me and trying to teach us all is that we are fine regardless of what happens, right? Normally, in order for us to achieve what we want, we need to know that we are just as fine without it. If you want more money, you have to love the side of you that can go broke. If you want more success in business, you have to love the side of you that can fail. If you want to put your content out there and reach more people, you need to love the side of you that can be judged. And from what I've found is asking that question is so expansive. What is life trying to teach you? What would life need to teach you in order for you to live this new belief? In order for you to live it? And life will generally bring up that scenario for you and this is what so many people are missing so many people want to shift their belief and they want to manifest something but they don't realize that life will test them to make sure they know they are fine without that thing that they are just as fine with or without it and it's when you know that you are truly you can feel just the way you want to feel and be whoever you want to be without that thing that's when it generally gets presented to you And so circumstances, events will happen to test you. Life will give you a test. Life will give you a circumstance or an event or a challenge or an obstacle where you are now faced with that test, with that challenge. And you are now, you now have the decision on do you want to make the decision from your new belief or do you want to make it from your old belief? That's the choice. That's the decision. The reasons why many people aren't manifesting physical and tangible results is because life is giving them the circumstances and challenge and they're making the decisions based on their old beliefs. So they're only understanding something intellectually. They're saying, yeah, life is abundant. Yeah, my money is abundant and money comes easily to me. But then when life gives you that scenario, gives you that circumstance, gives you that event or that challenge, Many people don't rise to the occasion and make their decision based on that new belief. They base it on their old belief. And that's why they stay stuck. That's why they stay regurgitating the same types of circumstances, the same types of results. So my question to you, next time life tests you, next time the universe asks you to step up, asks you to step into a new way of being, you have a choice. Do you want to make a decision based on this new level of joy, abundance, love, and true, just true abundance? Or will you stick to the old way of of thinking and stick to the old way of feeling and and being? And Start to recycle your scarcity and urgency and neediness. 
I urge you, if you want to expand, make some new decisions. Make some new decisions based on who you want to be. Make some new decisions based on who it is you want to become. And what you'll find is life will start to mirror that. Life will start to know that you have that test. You have that test and you passed. And now you're safe. You're safe to receive. You're safe to receive the new level of income, of clients, of engagement, of business success, whatever it looks like to you. You're now safe to receive that because you are now just as abundant with or without it. And that is a decision. So that's my call to action for you. And what you may find is that you will step into a new reality because you've stepped into a new identity. Every single decision you make that is in your expansion, you step into a new identity, a new way of being, a new way of your expansion. And so today, this week, whatever feels in your in alignment for you, recognize when life is giving you those tests, is giving you those opportunities to make a new decision, take new actions, and step into the new identity that is in your expansion. And when you do that, trust me, you will feel it and your beliefs will change and you'll start to manifest the things that you truly do want to see in your life because you know you're just as fine without it. Take care now. 